Okay, I'm gonna be um ranting on pretty much Christians again. Um Yeah, uh it it seems Christians are doing a lot of the stupid stuff, so it's only natural to rag on them when they do something stupid, but um yeah, I had just finished reading this article on about.com <coughs> about this um, <coughs> ruling where uh, some uh, school districts, I can't remember where, um, had to ba basically stop sending out mass emails concerning uh, religion. And, uh, this one, uh, I can't remember if it was like a principal or a superintendent or something, uh, basically said that, uh, he would basically face a firing squad and still not, um, give up his or her belief. Um, I'll, I'll read you the quotation of what they had said here in a minute as soon as I get it up. My computer is messed up for some odd reason. I think it's just because it's old. Um, but yeah, this these Christians seem to be really ignorant when it comes to these kind of things. Okay, the the person's name is Pat Gibson Hi Moore. I may have pronounced it wrong, but I uh, the person pretty much said, I do understand the law, but I do declare I will go before a firing squad if they make me give up the one who has always been with me, I won't deny any, anyone their religious freedom, but they're currently not going to deny me mine. Now, somehow, this person had gotten the idea that because they told them to stop with the mass emails concerning their religious belief that they were trying to tell them they cannot believe in God. I don't understand the Christian rationalization here or the Christian reasoning here. I really don't. It, it just, it does. <laughs> right over my head. It, to me, basically what this article is saying is that these emails, these religious emails, were in a, in a direct violation of the, the, the constitutional right. You know? And, um, it, it seems like this person wasn't getting it at all. That they didn't see it that way. They saw it as someone was trying to say, no, you can't believe that way, and we're going to stop you. They didn't see it that way. They, that's a, that, well, that is the way they saw it. They didn't see it as, you know, as, you know, trying to protect the whole uh, separation of church and state clause. And, it, yeah, it's, <laughs> come on, people. They, it, to me, it, it, it seems as though Christians want to play the persecuted card a lot when they should know full well that they have a hell of a lot more freedom and a lot less fear in this country than other religious groups do. I mean, atheists have are under a lot more persecution than Christians are. And atheists don't believe in any God whatsoever. Now, it, it's the Christians that deal out more persecution than they receive. 
and yet they they seem to claim they get more persecution than anybody else. I don't know if it's just me, but that sounds really hypocritical. But that's that's basically all I got to say on the subject. If you want to read the, the article that I'm talking about, I'll link it in the uh, description bar so you can read it for yourselves if you if you'd like to. And um I'm gonna go.